Wouldn't you love to learn how to eat foods that taste like candy, but improve your overall health? And wouldn't you love to do that all at the same time as much as you want? Then keep watching. My name is Robbie Barbero. I'm a New York Times bestselling author, and I've been living with type 1 diabetes for over 23 years. Together with my co-founder, Cyrus Kambala, we've been coaching people to reverse insulin resistance for decades using a simple evidence-based approach. These guidelines, they're easy to understand and they're fun to implement. The complications of prediabetes and type 2 diabetes and many of the complications of type 1 diabetes originate from an underlying condition called insulin resistance. Insulin resistance results from the accumulation of excess dietary fat in cells that are not designed to store large quantities of fat which in turn inhibits the action of insulin. Insulin resistance in your liver and muscle inhibits glucose uptake from your blood to both tissues, resulting in high blood glucose. So while high blood glucose is responsible for the complications of diabetes, it is not the underlying cause. Insulin resistance is. And if you reverse insulin resistance by reducing dietary fat, not dietary carbohydrates, you can reverse diabetes complications in the vast majority of cases. So are the carbs in fruit bad for you? No, they're not. The natural carbohydrates in fruit are carbohydrates that come pre-packaged with fiber and micronutrients, which take a long time to digest and absorb, providing a steady uptake of glucose into your tissues. These natural carbohydrates are often confused with added sugars like fructose and artificial sweeteners, when in reality, they're very different. Since these artificial sweeteners lack a high nutrient and fiber content, they're broken down quickly and absorbed directly into your blood. This is what can spike your blood glucose and present a dangerous risk to people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes which is why experts like the American Diabetes Association recommend avoiding added sugars whenever you can. Now, fruits packed with a high density of carbohydrates can spike your blood glucose, just like any other high nutrient food. So if you're having a very hard time controlling your blood glucose, we recommend eating fruit with greens and or non-starchy vegetables. In the long term, fruits can be the foundation of a high energy, easily manageable diabetes diet and include numerous health benefits.